Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number 12 of Hut Roulette, and our team is really coming together. Uh, unfortunately, last episode we lost our first game, which means that we have to restart that buy now minimum from all the way from 16k all the way back down to a buy now minimum of 50. But we did win our second game, and right now we have a one game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a second and a third game win streak. So if we can win the third game win streak, like I said, you got, we can uh, hopefully buy an 8750 pack for the team. So that's what we can look forward to with this uh, episode of Hut Roulette. And a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to see the stats, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. Uh, but I will organize it by points so you guys can see who the top point getters are so far. And maybe you guys can help me give me some line suggestions about what you want to see in my Hut Roulette team. And uh, you guys can kind of see there who is our leading point getters and who has not really been performing at all. Alright, so we're back on the team. I'm going to be doing a small little team update because I did move around some players. Uh, but you guys could tell by just the stats, James Neal has really not been performing on the first line left wing spot. So I'm giving it back to Milan Lucic, who has a little bit of chemistry with Rick Nash because they have the same change team. And he's playing alongside with Patrice Bergeron. I did move up Matthew Perot from the fourth line all the way back up to the second line because honestly, Tyler Johnson has really not helped out this line at all. And I want to give Perot, Marlowe, and Wheeler a second chance uh, to redeem themselves in this next game. And the third line, we're going to be bringing Tyler Johnson right there. There, hopefully giving a little bit more strength. Forsberg and Neil are on that third line, which have a little bit of chemistry, as well as the fourth line. Moving down Brian Boyle, giving him more of a grinder kind of uh, lineup for him to play with, playing alongside with Wayne Simmons and Glenn Cross. So that is how the offense is looking. Let's quickly go through the defense, and we're going to play with Garrison, Cronwell, the newly acquired Dougie Hamilton, Mark Stahl, Jake Garner, Trevor, Trevor Daly, and I know a lot of guys were saying as well that Roberto Luongo should be swapped out for Kari Lettinen, but honestly, I've played a ton with Roberto Luongo this season in Hut Roulette already, and so far, he has impressed me on a lot of fronts, so I'm going to keep him in there for now. He has a little bit of chemistry with Cromwell. I don't want to really mess that up right now. All right, and just one more thing before we start off this next game, but I'm adding in a new rule into this series. I know it's a little bit late in the series already, but we haven't had that many losses uh, so far, and we had one last episode. And a lot of guys were complaining that uh, I should not be able to pick up a player when I uh, lose a game, and I do agree with you on that one. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding in that new rule uh, that we actually had last year, where uh, if we do lose a game, that means we have to go on random.org and we have to choose a player to be off our team. So we have a chance of losing Rick Nash, Patrice Bergeon, a lot of really good players if we lose that game. it's I think it's a nice little punishment to add into Hut Roulette, and we'll definitely add a little more depth into the series. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I mean, it doesn't happen often when we lose a game, but uh, we're going to get started into this first game here. Enough talking about rules and uh, updates. We're going to get right into this first game. Let's see if we can win. All right, let's do this. We're starting up the first game. He's got Joe Thornton, Yager, and Andrew Ladd on his first line. So a lot of power up front. We got to watch out just a little bit. So let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, nice little setup. Come on, pass it out in front. Shoot, Johnson. Oh, my goodness. How did we not score that? One more chance. Get it on net. Oh, it trickles by a little bit. Oh, Phil Forrester. Shoot. Oh, Brian Elliott. Another good save. All right, and that is going to be the end of the first period. And still, we're playing a pretty good game. Let's take a look at the stats. 7-6 to six in shots. Uh, we're losing on the time on attack, though. 2 minutes and 20 seconds to 3 minutes and 7 seconds. So, we got to play a little bit better. We need to get that first goal uh, to solidify this lead. Come on, we got this. Oh, and there's the set play. That is how you do it. You just got to curve a little bit to the left and then pass it back to the right. And it fools the goalie every single time. So, pretty nice goal. We're leading 1 to nothing. That's what I like to see. Oh, get by him. Get by Burnsy. Oh, no. That's going in. Yes. Oh, my goodness. How did that go in? Wayne Simmons with the puck chop. Holy crap. What a goal. That's some hand-eye coordination right there. Oh, man. But Tyler Johnson doing the uh, double backhand. And, oh, just trickles by and Wayne Simmons makes no mistake. I think that's the first ever chop, uh, puck chop goal I've ever gotten in NHL 16. So, that's pretty nice. Anyways, we're now leading 2 to nothing. Only 2 minutes and 33 seconds in the second period. Let's keep it up. Oh, 
Yes, and there is the last goal, or maybe that's going to be the last goal. Three to nothing. James Neal with a nice snipe right there. And uh, there's only 18 minutes left in the third period. So we're definitely all playing him now. We just got to play some good defense. Oh, what? How did that go in? Oh, I thought Yermer Yager just batted it out of the air, but Andrew Ladd scores him a goal. I want to take another look at that replay. Oh, but that sucks. We lost our shadow right in the final seconds, final minutes. Yeah, batted right out of the air, and Jay Gardner trying to break his stick on the post. But good goal by Andrew Ladd. I thought maybe it would have been reviewable, but I guess not. 3-1 to one now. Only three minutes left in the third. Oh man, alright, I'll take the goal. I guess Jay Garner scores one, making it four to one now in this game. Nice little uh insurance market for us, I guess. Alright, so a nice easy win. We win with a score of four to one. You guys saw the last final goal. Hopefully I added that into the game. But let's take a look at the stats. Alright, so let's take a look. 16 to 20 in shots. 5 minutes and 59 seconds time on attack to 7 minutes and 6 seconds. So it looks like he outbeat me a little bit on the time on attack in total shots. But our, our chances were definitely higher quality. Let's take a look at the 3 stars quickly. James Neal racking in 3 points. 1 goal, 2 assists. Wayne Simmons getting the 2nd uh, star for the puck chop in. And Roberto Luongo getting the 3rd star. Playing a pretty good game as well. Making a lot of saves. Anyways, we're going to be choosing the 16th player here. So let's go into the marketplace. Raise that buy now minimum to 2k. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we're ready to go. The buy now minimum has been set to 2,000. Buy now minimum, the collection type has been put into players. So let's choose the 16th player here, and let's see what we get. It's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Jack Johnson, an 85 overall left defenseman. 2A defenseman. Look at his skating category as well. 87 skating. That is going to help out our team by quite a bit. So let's buy him out. See where he fits in. And here we have it guys. A new updated team with Jack Johnson into the defensive spot. He's playing alongside with Dougie Hamilton. And uh, pretty much nothing else has changed other than taking out Mark Stahl from that second line left defenseman spot. So anyways, we're going to get right into the second game here. Let's see if we can win this next one. And here we go, guys. We're facing a Boston fan. He's got Bukestad, Kucherov, and Mike Bossy on his left wing. So, uh, a couple interesting players on his team, but we're going to get started here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no. My goalie was caught out of position in no man's land. He makes no mistake with that speed with Kucherov, and he scores one goal, making it one to nothing. We got to get that goal back. Come on, guys. Oh my goodness, and another goal. Who scored that? I don't know who that is, but he makes it two to nothing. He gets a really early lead, only 10 minutes into the first period. Oh man, I gotta play a little bit better now. Oh, Pro's got a break. Come on, go, 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 go. Back and forth. Oh, on the line. No, we needed that goal, and it just, oh man, it couldn't get past the red line. Alright, still two to nothing. Come on, don't let that one in. Make sure we play some good defense here. Oh god. Alright, so there we have it guys. That is the end of the first period and I still think we're playing a pretty good game. 67 in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 2 minutes and 45 seconds. So, I can't let him score any more goals. We need to get 2 goals right here to tie it back up. Let's get it going. Oh, Rick Nash, come on. Oh, uh, no, oh, man, where's the speed? There is absolutely no speed with this lineup right now. Oh, Matthew Perot missing the empty net. Come on, Wheeler, get the puck. We need you now. Pass it down to Marlowe. Oh, Perot's open. Luongo, what a glove save. Yes, there is the first goal. A little cheeky goal by G Curtis Glencross. Finally getting his first goal for this team, and it is a big one for sure. Alright, 2-1 to one now, second period. We just need one more goal to tie it back up. Oh, Lucci, you're wide open. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Backhand. No, Roberto Luongo with a big save. Getting there, Bergeron. Oh, man. We're getting close. I feel it. No, and right off the face-off. 
Man, the passing in this game right now is just not working for me. We're back down two. Oh man, we need to get that one back. Come on. No, I was trying to cover the cross crease, but he gets it through with Eric Stahl. I think that scored that goal. Oh man, now we're down by three. We're just getting outplayed here, boys. Oh my goodness, how do we not score that? In front, shoot! Yes! Trevor Daly, that's what I'm talking about. Scoring a clutch goal for us with only 10 minutes left in the third period. Come on, can we get the comeback right here? Alright, and that is going to be the end of the game. Just very disappointing by my team. I don't know what my passing percentage was, but just none of the passes were connecting. And uh, that really cost us right at the very end. And that is going to be the second loss of our Hot Roulette series. 22 to 16 in shots, 7 minutes, time on attack to 8 minutes and 38 seconds. But those first couple of goals de definitely killed me right in the first period. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's take a look at the three stars. Nick Bukestad, two assists, four hits. Kutrov, one goal, one hit. And Mike Bossy getting the third star. So we none of our players got a star, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we're going to be going on Ram.org and choosing a player to remove from our team. Alright, so right after we implemented that new rule, we ended up losing one game in this episode, which is a little bit unfortunate. But uh, we're going to be copying and pasting this list of all these player positions into our random.org. And whatever's at the top is what player we're going to have to remove from the team. And it's going to be the third line right defender. I don't know exactly who that is, but I will go back into the team, choose that player to get off the team. And welcome back to NHL. So, our third line right defender, I'm pretty sure it's no one too special. It is just going to be Trevor Daly. That is right. Uh, he's on the third line right defender spot, which is a little bit unfortunate. He was actually a very good defender, but uh, we're going to have to remove him from the team. And uh, we're going to have to put in someone else. And just like that, we put back in Mark Stahl into the third line right defender spot for now. And uh, let's go ahead and now buy that player. So, let's save those changes. And uh, we're going to be choosing the 16th player here and also raising the buy now minimum just to 50 coins because we did lose that game. So we'll put that collection type to players, put that buy now minimum to 50, and let's see what we get for the 16th player. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Cam Ward is going to be the next pickup. A nice little cheap player that we can add onto the team. Honestly, I don't think there's a spot for him right now, but we will buy him out anyways and see where he fits in. All right, so let's finally wrap up this episode. And we did throw in Cam Ward into our team, just for one game at least, giving Kari Lennon a break and getting um, Luongo back on track for the next couple games coming up. Anyways, uh, not too many big changes, not too many big, big pickups, but I need some more line suggestions to make this team flow. Uh, once again, I already gave you guys uh, the team or the team stats, so maybe you guys can generate some lines for me in the next episode. Leave it in the comment box below if you can. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you're really enjoying this series so far. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. In the first line, left wing spot, and look at that with the captain card. He has a 93 overall with 94 skating, 95 shot, 93 hands, 93 checking, and 88 defense. That is an absolutely ridiculous card to use, especially in Division 10.